I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speedscreed. I'm here today to talk about which is the best screed for underfloor heating. When we talk about which is the best screed for underfloor heating, a few factors may influence your choice. Here we set out to explore those options and recommend the most suitable products on the market. Firstly, let's consider thermal conductivity. When looking for the best screed for underfloor heating, thermal conductivity is an extremely important factor to consider. The definition of thermal conductivity is the rate at which heat passes through a specified material expressed as the amount of heat that flows per unit time through a unit area with a temperature gradient of one degree per unit distance. Flowing screeds, simply put, have a higher density and therefore lend themselves to greater thermal conductivity. You may wish to consider the following products to achieve the maximum efficiency. Gypsol, HTC. Givlon, Thermio Plus. Topflow, Screed C, Bellatex. The benefits include high thermal conductivity, high thermal diffusion for fast heating, thinner screed. Next, let's consider fast drying. One major consideration when choosing the best screed for underfloor heating is how quickly it dries so I can lay my floor coverings. Here we have a number of fast drying options suitable for underfloor heating use. In the liquid screed variety, the fast drying cementitious Bellatex takes between 14 to 21 days. Hydraulic binder fast drying screed is one day for ceramics, five day for resilience. Mappy screed 704 is seven days for ceramics, 14 days for resilience. Retinal Extreme is two days for ceramics and three days for resilience. Foot trafficking. So how soon can you walk on the best screed for underfloor heating? If your program is tight, this might be an important consideration. Below is a selection of screeds that allow for early foot traffic. Kerasem Eco, only eight hours. Topsem, only 12 hours. Retinal Extreme, 24 hours, and Calcium Sulfate Screed, 24 to 48 hours. If early loading of the screed is required, most screeds achieve their design strength at 28 days, bearing in mind. Products like Retinal Extreme have an amazing early strength. Screed minimum thickness might be a consideration. If available screed depth is an issue, then a thin one might be the best option. Here we have a selection. Gypsol HTC with a 20 mil coverage of the pipes. Givlon Thermio Plus, again only 20 mil coverage of pipes. Topflow Screed C Bellatex, 30 mil coverage of the pipes. Retinal Extreme, 30 mil coverage of the pipes. I hope this has been a help when searching for the best screed for underfloor heating. If you have any other questions, please get in touch.